actually brings us to the very first agenda item, and it will be my lovely colleague, Inga Turner, who will give you an update on Lynx Nairobi and uh, the recent activities that you've been carrying out there. So over to you, Linga. Good morning. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Inga. I'm part of the sales account management team at Lynx, and I've been supporting or working alongside the Lynx team in Nairobi to make Lynx Nairobi live. So a little bit of an update of what we've been doing. I'm just going to say I use my hands a lot. Please, you know, just ignore me. <laughs> um, so just as a recap as, of why we, you know, what we're doing and what we have been doing in Nairobi. Uh, oh, I need to use this. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, a little bit of a recap, who, what and why Lynx Nairobi. So um, Lynx Nairobi is the first footprint in Africa uh, for, for Lynx. Um, it's a standalone IXP to keep the traffic local. Um, it's also a future-proofed interconnected network can scale and grow with the region's digital demands using technology from Nokia. So um, Lynx Nairobi went live in November 2023. Um, our Nairobi data center partners, which we have three, are offering the first cross connect to the peering land as free to our, our, any new, um, new members that, that are coming on board. We're also working with our first DC partner, IX Africa, who are offering their services to Lynx Nairobi free until November 2026. So our network in Nairobi. Um, as I mentioned, we, um, we dentist centre partners, which we have three, IX Africa, ICOLO and ADC, I Africa data centres, which are interconnected with a dual fibre. Um, this is really quite key, um, especially while we've been out there, that it's when we've been speaking to the community that, you know, the, the, the people don't realise that they're interconnected and that, that being in ICOLO, for instance, you, you can pick up traffic from ADC and it's a key selling point to us while we're there. A little bit of the story so far. So in November 2023, the Lynx engineering team went out to Nairobi and installed the kit in the three dental centres. And we officially went live um, in um, November 2023. December 2023, we, we are welcomed on board our first customer, well, member, sorry, not customer, member, um, who's also our first reseller for Lynx Nairobi, which was Bix, Bit Belgicom. Um, so December 2023, going into January, we decided that what, well, I think that we would do a, a in-person visit with the team. Um, and, and three of us went out to um, meet the three DCs. Uh, Mid-January, um, the, the DCs, the, the partners, um, each of them put on a event for us, a breakfast meeting, whereby we were able to go and visit, um, talk to the staff, and they also brought in customers for us to meet. Um, it proved very successful. Um, uh, a key takeaway from the meeting was there's, there is a large, vibrant community that are incredibly, um, incredibly supportive of us as Lynx Nairobi, very keen to be involved in Lynx Nairobi, um, that, as well as, as peering products, other services such as private VLAN. However, we did find while we were there, everybody was very keen to join, but they wanted to know where the content networks were. So uh, in the background, before we've even gone live, we have been as a team speaking to all the content players at many different events, myself and the, um, the SMT, my colleagues, you know, gauging interests, are you coming, you know, and they're all saying, well, we want to see the local guys, where's the, you know, the ISPs. So we kind of had to build a momentum up within the community and for them to decide, well, well if we're not going to join, then the content's not going to be here. So the actual community, Lynx Nairobi community, decided, look, we're just going to do this. And on the particular day at ICOLO, in January, we had received six applications in the room on the day, which was very thrilling. Taking away, so a key, also another key point, as I mentioned, that as well as peering, they're very interested in the private VLAN connection. And we arranged a follow up meeting with Mike Hellers from Product to, to go through this to um, ensure everybody was on the same, same page and this is what they wanted in regards to um, private VLAN. So, 
Carrying on from there, so while we were then busy beavering away looking for a content player and uh, the applications are coming in, um, we, we're actually still supporting the, app, uh, the applications, um, the applicants, updating them, and we also received um, a, a further application from an existing Lynx member, AFRIX. Um, April and May, going into April and May, um, we were very pleased to announce that um, Meta kindly joined us. I think it was the week of GPF, so about the 15th of April. Um, and at that point, we were able to go back to the applicants that we'd received and, and advise, look, we have a content player, let's get going. And, 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 and straight away, my Manga Networks and my, S, my SP connected, went straight into provisioning. And we're, we're within two weeks up, around the same time as Meta went live in the first week of May. So um, our services are proving very popular. We decided, as Meta had gone live, that we would revisit and go back out. So myself, Lindsay and Joe went out to, to, to Nairobi um, at mid, mid May, oh sorry, early May, to just do another three site visits to the three DCs. Um, and we were really, really surprised from the first time we were surprised how many people, but the, the second visit, the amount of interest we received from the community, from all three sites who, who put on um, breakfast, coffee stations. I will say I was slightly duped when I went to ADC and I was told there was only two people, two or three people, and there's two groups of 20, which we had to do two presentations to. All incredibly um, engaged, um, asking lots of questions again. Um, and as, as we had Meta on board, we, we were also able to you know, build that pipeline of our local community. Oh, if I go back, sorry, I just want to go back. So while we were there, I do apologise for the spam of me. Um, Joe, my manga, we just spotted troubleshooting. They'd had a, so Joe while there actually made troubleshoot with, with my manga to make the, the ports live. And, what, and they at the time then ordered another port at, uh, they, um, at ADC and upgraded at the same time. I think it proves it's great to be face to face. Um, so again, the, some pictures again from across the three sites, Icolo, IX Africa and ADC. As I said, ADC had, um, you know, coffee stations, food stations, you know, they, they, we were really well received. Uh, I, I think as Lindsay said, we must have met at least 70% of the local community over those three days. While we were there as well, we also held a Peers for Peers event on the evening, which on the second visit, was, which was um, Kenya had ex been experienced in Nairobi, incredible floods. So there was a lot of bad weather and uh, for the, everybody to come out and spend time with us, it was, you know, quite special. Um, in summary, while we're there, in, from the two visits, we've received 20 applications, seven are alive, six are in provisioning, and eight are going through the commercial process, three of which are still waiting for kit to be delivered into the sites. More spam of me, I do apologise. Uh, and um, I will say, I'm holding a glass in one, but if it is a dark liquid, it's not gin. So. <laughs> um, our growing ecosystem. We're very keen as well as part of the provisioning handholding process that we get. As soon as they're on board, we get them on peering DB and get their peering sessions up with Meta. Um, and, and to be honest with you, we, I'm not really having to ask, it's done already. So, um, and also since I think that update, we've had another two, I believe, on, on peering DB and a further application yesterday morning. So slowly building traffic, uh, so we're up to a spike of 2.2 there. Um, I, we expect that to continue, to continue to grow as everybody becomes on board and, and sets up their, their, um, their, their peering sessions. We're also continuing to speak to, with further content players in regards to connections. And with that, yes, the things are looking very bright. I will just say that you see me here, but there's a large team of us that, and there's a lot of support from the whole business in regards to Lynx Nairobi. And I want to say thank you for everybody who supports me and what I do as well. And any questions? Great. Thanks so much, Inga. Any questions to Inga? Thank Eat, you. Please. I'll pay you all later. <laughs> Hang on. Thank you.
Hi, it's Pete Stevens. I was, sorry, I was just going to add a, a little bit of background. So two years ago, we signed off a business case to do this. Two years ago, two and a half years ago, something like that. Anyway, the target was 12 networks in the first year, 29 in the second. And we're six months in, and that's 20 applications in process. So congratulations, I think, are in order. Thank you, Peter. Thanks so much, Inga, as well.